Hey everyone and welcome to the Portrait Mode Dev Update Volume 0. This is a new format that I've planned here for the channel to kind of give you a look behind the scenes of what we are doing here at Portrait Mode. If you're not familiar with Portrait Mode, it is a photo sharing platform for street photography that we have developed. The platform allows you to create your profile, categorize your photos into albums, and post it and share your work with other members of the community. Similar to other photo sharing platforms such as Instagram, it has a photo feed. And in addition to that, we also feature the quote unquote best photos in a separate section. Of course, make sure to check it out yourself if you haven't already, there will be a link down below in the video description. Okay, so let me just give you some sort of a general update update of what we've worked on the past couple of months. Two of the major milestones that we've accomplished recently were the introduction of the Android and iOS app. Both are now available for you to download in the Play and App Store. We have released the Android app on New Year's Eve and the iOS app in March 2023. Developing those apps has taken up quite a bit of time, but I'm happy and excited that we were able to bring the portrait mode experience to your mobile devices. Moderating photos on the platform has become quite a challenge recently, and to account for that, we have brought curators on board. So there are currently 20 to 30 people overseeing photos posted on the platform, making sure they are following our guidelines to provide you as the viewer with the best possible experience. Another feature that we have recently introduced is categories. This is similar to hashtags, but with a little less freedom. It is meant to make portrait mode a better resource for street photography and it also increases searchability and visibility for your photos. So that means if you publish a photo on portrait mode you can select up to 10 categories such as black and white, color, contrast or different film stocks such as Portra 400 to get your photo in front of more people and increase exposure. Again, that has been what we've been working on the past couple of months. So it's the Android app, the iOS app, categories, and the curator program. Now here's an update on what we are working on right now. With portrait mode in general, we as the developers also learn as we build. Currently, the photos on the feed for both the website and app are displayed chronologically, and this comes with quite a few problems. It doesn't really allow the user to define what types of photos they would like to see. While you can follow people on portrait mode, it does not currently have an effect on your personal viewing experience. And that is why we are developing an algorithm. With the algorithm, we're still in the very early stages and are outlining ideas, but personally, my number one prayer is to make it a fair algorithm and to give everyone a fair chance for their photo to be seen. And of course, make sure you see more of the photos from people you follow. Another thing worth highlighting is the pop-up on the website that we've refactored. It appears when you click on a photo on the timeline and it will show you additional information about the photo and author and also allow you to leave comments and like the photo. This is literally now 100 times faster and you can cycle through photos while the pop-up is open. So you no longer have to close a photo, open a new photo, and so on. This is only one of the many more user experience improvements that we have planned, but generally speaking, this is where we at right now. We've been getting a lot of feedback from you guys, especially from users of the new iOS app, reporting that the app crashes when you try to upload a photo. We are aware of this issue and are currently trying to fix that for you. Of course, if you want to learn more about portrait mode, there is a link down below for you in the video description. We post helpful articles as well as updates there on a regular basis. Also sign up for the newsletter and subscribe. That is it for the portrait mode dev update volume zero. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. With portrait mode in general, we kind of learn as we build. 